I'm going to replace the shift boot on a 2003 MK4 TDI Golf. As you can see, it's getting pretty weathered. So these are only, you know, you can get these for less than 20 bucks on eBay or Amazon. And this is leather, supposedly from Italy. Um, I'll put a link down below from the one that I got, but it says that that's what's on the inside. Who makes it? So we'll get cracking. I'm going to start here. I'm going to push forward and up. Pop that out. So find extra little bits in there. And pull it straight up. And it exposes this pinch down here. And we're going to need to pry this pinched. metal piece here open so that we can loosen it and we're just going to use a thin flat blade screwdriver. I have three of them here so try whichever one works best. Looks like it start with a small one first and then you can move up to a bigger size so I'll grab the smallest one and start on that. Looks like this can spin to where you have a little bit better access. So mine was off to the side. I'm going to spin it just a little bit so I have better access here. It's a little groove in the plastic here that gives you a little bit of better access. Not the fastest process, but I want to reuse that clip that's on there. If you end up breaking it, I guess it's not going to be the end of the world. You can put a little hose clamp on it or something, but I'd rather just reuse the one that's on here. able to spin that quite a bit better now. Once you create a bit more space, you can get your bigger screwdriver in there. A bit more twisting. You can see that's quite a bit looser there wants to be nice and stretched out here because we're going to need to create enough looseness to be able to pull this gear shift knob off and allow these plastic pieces here to 
spread while they're coming out. So now we should be able to lift up on this. You want to check the alignment how you have it. So make sure this is going to be facing the front of your boot. So you're going to be reusing this plastic uh, piece when you put on your new boot. You just want to make sure it's aligned properly. So take note of how the stitching is going and we'll put it on the same way. This thing's getting very thin. We're going to need to take a few other pieces off. We flip it upside down. You can see you have a couple of lines here on this plastic piece that are lining up with the stitching. And you had your groove here that you lined things up with to take off to spread this guy here. So just take note of that and we'll put it back on the same way. You also have this piece here that looks like it's going to line in a groove. I'm putting a little bit of upward pressure on it with my hand so that when it starts to pry, it stays up. So you can see it start coming in. So I'm pulling up with my fingers here at the same time. So that's gonna come off. And we know we're gonna have to align it with this groove here and that plastic groove inside this that will line up with that it's got a few teeth on the bottom looks like all right so we'll take that off set it aside and now this just kind of comes off the other way and that is our leather boot it's got a bit of elastic in the bottom here, so we're going to peel it off. So we want to make sure it's going into this groove when we put it back on. You can see there's a groove here. So that's our boot. Not too bad for 19 years old. See that it's about the same shape, about the same size as the new one. So we'll work on putting that one on now. We're gonna line it up in those grooves. And start attaching this guy. Get it on first and then we'll make sure it's in correct groove. The fly is not helping. Try and spin it around so the grit, the stitching is going to line up in the middle. Going to have the middle line mark here. Takes a little faffing around to get everything in the groove. Push some of it in with a smooth screwdriver. It won't hurt anything. Helps line it up. All right. Once you got it all lined up in the grooves then you're ready start putting it back together so we're going to turn it 
push it inside out. Gear shift knob back in place. So remember to line up the front piece of plastic is going to go towards the front. That's the way you want the numbers on your gear shift knob facing as well. Push this through here. Snug. Could use a little flathead screwdriver for that too. Just to ease things in. Got it over the edge there. Make sure everything's lined up. Be a bummer to have it crooked. Let me get our plastic clip. And we're gonna put that back on. And we're lining up the two grooves. So I've set the gear knob down on something firm so I can try and put even pressure down. It's pretty snug. If it gets cockeyed, it's going to be a pain to try and straighten it out. So you kind of want it to have even, go down evenly on each side. So we don't want to scratch up the end of this knob. I put the old boot down below and then Put it on top so I can try and put even pressure. You don't want this to get cockeyed. You do have to put some pressure down on it. And we remember that groove that lined up. So that's kind of what we're using. That goes tight up against here with those little teeth that are kind of biting and it helps the boot not spin around. And after we have that, we basically get to push this on and make sure this is facing the front before we push it on. You can see these little plastic grooves they're gonna slide down over here so we'll slide this on make sure it's lined up straight and we're just gonna push straight down opposite direction from how we lift it up it's down you heard that click so that is in place these little plastic grooves have gone back into their home and now we have this pinch clamp spinning around we're gonna pinch that back together and then we're almost done Probably a good time to wipe all this stuff up too. Might as well. All your dirt and grime. Most access you're going to have to getting this grime out of here now, so might as well do it. Don't forget to tighten your pinch clip here. Take a pair of your pincher channel lock. Um, this is an excellent little tool. So we're going to pinch our thing on, not too tight, because we don't want to cut through it. This channel lock will definitely do that. So we get it nice and snug. So it doesn't let these plastic pieces here come loose. You don't want to pull your knob off while you're 
driving that goes for many different occasions pinchity pinch now you wipe that off with some damp paper towel or something we can work at putting this boot back on so you start with that lip at the front this here and we're going to tuck that up underneath here and then we're going to press down and forward it's a good time to make sure since you've been moving around that you have everything back in the groove so this popped out for me so i'm going to push it back in with a screwdriver before i attach it now that you've made sure that's in the groove take this lip tuck it back in place push it forward once it's underneath there and That's your finished product. Looks pretty good. Hopefully that lasts another 20 years. <laughs>